What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I decided to um, cover a question that I get a lot. Now I'm pretty sure I have covered this on my channel, um, you know, once or twice, but I decided to kind of refresh and um, give you guys more tips on this topic. And in today's topic, we're going to be talking about why my bearded dragon doesn't eat. So this question, I probably get it at least 10 times a day. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, you know, I always try to answer uh, the questions that you guys sent me. So if you guys do send me either an email or um, a message on Instagram, I am still trying to catch up to messages, but it's kind of hard recording videos at the same time answering messages. But let me know if that's something that you guys maybe in the future would like for me to do. Just basically make a video on just answering like 20 questions off of Instagram because honestly it is very time consuming sometimes answering questions. So maybe, you know, by me answering one question, it would help out anyone out there with the exact same question. So in today's video, I'm gonna be covering that so with that being said let's just get started with this video let's go but before we go oh man I haven't done this in a while but you can see my bearded dragons back there yeah you can see Wilbur up here we already know what time it is we gotta zoom in yeah <laughs> Wilbur is like man I was so down of you not zooming in anymore but yeah, like uh, I kind of changed up my room a bit so you could kind of see that the setting, there's no more dead plants back here. So I am planning on doing a room tour. I'm just saying things switched up a little bit in this room before there used to be some plants back here. So it's a little bit changed up. So let's just get started um, with the video <laughs> and uh, hopefully you guys learn a thing or two. Let's go. So your bearded dragon doesn't want to eat. So we have right here BB and Wilbur. Now these guys tend to be a little bit more of my picky bearded dragons when it comes to feeding, but they still eat. And I strongly believe the reason why they still eat is because of their husbandry. So tip number one would be to make sure that your husbandry is on point. So that means the lighting, um, the UVB, the heat, all of that component um, that your your bearded dragon is required to have is all in place. So the last thing you want to do is have a bearded dragon sort of on a routine that you know one day you turn on the lights for five hours, the next day you turn on the lights for six, the next day you turn on the lights for four, um, the next day you turn the lights on for 12 hours, then 20 hours. The best thing that you could possibly do is get yourself a timer. So all of my lights for my bearded dragons and reptiles are on a timer. That allows me to basically go about my day and know that the lights are gonna turn on on their own every single day on a specific time. Now this is very important as well because when it's winter here, it gets really cold and the light outside you know, changes as well. So there'll be times where it'll be 6 p.m. outside in the winter and it's dark. So my whole entire room will be dark. So you could just imagine if they were kind of going with the lighting outside as well, you know, because your lights are not on point, they will basically fall into that routine of wanting to brewmate, which also might cause your bearded dragon not to eat. So it's very important that you have a routine for your bearded dragon when it comes to their light and time is very important. And I feel like my bearded dragons do a really good job on when it comes to eating because they're always on a schedule. So I always have the lights turn on at a specific time and it's always there too. But it's not just the lighting and everything, it's also the temperature. It's stays at a very consistent temperature throughout the year. Um, I don't brewmate my animals unless they really need to or they, um, you know, are asking to be brewmated. Sometimes some females will want to brewmate and everything. So um, for me, because I stay at a consistent level, at a consistent um, heat throughout the year, I don't have that issue when it comes to my bearded dragons and I've noticed a big difference when I didn't have a timer to now when I do because everything is the same throughout the year everything is consistent which leads me to number two um, bearded dragons you know for some reason even though they fall into a routine and they're very 
simple to take care of. Yes, they still have their, um, you know, complications here and now and then, but they're very straightforward to take care of once you're in a routine. Um, the one thing that I've noticed is that bearded dragons could get bored of their food. So if you're always feeding them crickets, there might be a day or two or even a couple weeks that basically they don't want to eat crickets anymore. So it's very important that you're always switching up their diet. Now, if your bearded dragon is not eating at all, you know, um, make sure that you're trying other things that might might interest it to want to eat now if your bearded dragon isn't eating at all uh it's very important to maybe try something else that uh will have your bearded dragon basically get stimulated again to be interested in food so for me my bearded dragons i've noticed that sometimes when they start to be a little bit bored of um you know the insects that I'm giving them, I will throw in a hornworm or I'll throw in a couple of waxworms and butterworms. And even though these things can be very addicting to them and you don't want to always be feeding them this, um, giving them something that switches up and basically mixes in with their crickets. I notice that once I give them a hornworm and I introduce some crickets or something that they started to get bored of, they automatically start getting interested and wanting to eat again. So it's one of those things that you need to, um, you know, switch it up from time to time. But if your bearded dragon isn't eating at all, you know, there might be something else going on with him. Which leads me to number three. Get your bearded dragon checked. So for me, I've noticed that uh, bearded dragons, from time to time, they could just get ill. Bibi, for instance, she is like my prized possession. And last year, she gave me a heart attack because she got sick, she stopped eating. I was honestly just having a panic. And the one thing that I did was obviously stay calm and I consulted with a vet. And once I consulted with a vet, we pinpointed that it was a bacteria in her stomach causing her to have a runny stool and her not wanting to eat. Because it's just like us humans, you know, if we get into that routine and we eat a little bit too much that's not good for us and we get, you know, a runny stool <laughs> but basically if you automatically you know get sick you know with stomach flu or whatever um you might not want to eat you might not even want to drink water so it's very important um for a bearded dragon when they get into this state that you also provide them something to keep them hydrated so give them water even if it's through a syringe and assisting them with water keeping them um you know nicely hydrated is very important because you know once you know your bearded dragon starts to uh basically go back to normal his appetite should come back but it's around that time either you're giving it medication or it's sick that that's when you need that extra care of making sure that it's hydrated um not so much focusing on the food just focus on keeping it hydrated that way your bearded dragon doesn't go in a dark hole and basically um uh cannot make a comeback and recover uh, nicely now those were some common reasons why your bearded dragon may not want to eat so it's very important that you understand your bearded dragon because each bearded dragon is different and sometimes a simple change like changing the uvb as well as maybe giving it some water or making sure that your bearded dragon's not constipated so give it a bath just those little tiny things might just do it for your bearded dragon to start eating so i'm going to show you now what i do with a bearded dragon that basically needs a boost um, because it's not eating or it just gave birth or um, you know they just need that extra boost because you notice that they're doing you know not that well and I did this with BB and she basically recovered from being ill and she honestly she's doing a lot better than before the last time we spoke to a vet um, they said that you know she's gonna start you know putting on weight now from moving forward so I'm really happy she no longer has the runny stool and she's eating consistently so I'm gonna show you what I did with her to basically boost her up so let's go all right so we got BB here now as you can see she's doing a lot better she's recovering um, she's holding herself up you know her eyes look nice and alert and open so she's doing a lot better than when the last time uh, you know last year when she gave me that scare and she got sick now the one thing that I did um, you know after I took her to the vet was I got myself this multivitamin so <laughs> she knows it too she likes it but this right here is you know berry flavor so it, you know they like it and everything so the recommended dosages are right there now this right here really did 
help my bearded dragon out now i'm not gonna say all bearded dragons are the same so if you are gonna purchase this be very very careful you can potentially give too much vitamin to a bearded dragon and that's not something that you want to do so uh you know normally i would you know say of course take them to the vent and everything but for me having this multivitamin basically allowed me to give her that extra boost and that extra bit of energy because for her you know she wasn't eating she wasn't eating her veggies so she wasn't really getting any vitamins and um you know the medication that they gave her even though you know helped her it was very harsh on her body and i could tell she would basically always want to sleep as right now she all she wants to do is eat <laughs> hey so she was not doing any of that she was hiding in the corner she was not wanting to eat she didn't want to come out and basically bask here even though from time to time i'll basically place her here so she could get warm she just didn't want to do anything um, that a normal bearded dragon would do so what I did was I kept her hydrated I basically would get a syringe and I would assist feed her uh, Some water and it's very simple to do. I think I did a video on it But if you do need help, I will make another video on how to do so But basically I'll give her water and then from time to time. I would give her the medication of uh uh, this vitamin so it's not anything crazy Oop, okay all right let me let me see. <laughs> sorry baby no 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 come back I know she likes it she likes it but she's just acting weird come here so just put the lip down squeeze boom that's it so that right there uh, it's not you know gonna heal her or anything but it's gonna give her that extra bit of boost and especially for a female that you know may had l just laid eggs and everything they just got rid of a whole bunch of nutrients by making the eggs and everything so they do need that extra bit of care so it's important that you provide your bearded dragon yes give them calcium give them um vitamins but if your bearded dragon is not eating anything it's not getting any nutrients regardless so you might have to get yourself a liquid you know multivitamin there's also liquid calcium and other things um you know but if you are going to do so like i said be very very careful you don't want to overdo it you don't want to also um, harm your bearded dragon by doing so so definitely do more research into it and if you want me to do a more in-depth video on medication and everything like that um, i'm willing to make a video even though i'm not a vet myself i've been taking care of bearded dragons for a little over 10 years so i've dealt with some things in my past right but thankfully all my bearded dragons are now doing well and um you know i'm really happy to say that bb over here has recovered from her illness so that right there was just like a last bit of um you know vitamin that i gave her you know it's not bad for them but like i said if you give them too much it could do harm so for now hopefully this video helped but that is it for this video <laughs> this right here is bb she's just giving me that look like man where you gotta put me on camera but this right here is bb i'm lord of lion keep the blood pumping and i'll see you guys so in my goes. next here video. we go peace you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit that notification hit that notification